so let's try to be creative right now and we're going to make a cat a watercolor cat let me show you how to draw a cat so just as you remember we need to find the center point of our paper and uh, you can measure it with your pencil for example yeah, to find um, the center of the paper yes and i'm just going to mark these lines so here we go so uh, two of these lines are going to help us to find a good uh, position of our composition so now just uh, uh, give a little bit of space on the right side of your paper and from the top i'm going to have you know, four fingers down so that's going to be on the back of the cat so from uh, from the left down corner i also going to give a space and uh, i'm going to use my finger to measure that point so now i'm showing to you where you're going to have the top point of uh, the bag and we can start connecting our dots right now uh, here down we're going to have bow so it's a long long one because our cat is going to stretch his back okay and now you can connect a bag and his uh, hand or his paw so it's a nice curve like a um, heel stiff heel and the next point is uh, where you're going to have a tail of a cat here yeah? So the tail of the cat is going up and uh, it's going to be up off the back. So now I created the, I, I, I drew the back uh, leg of the cat. If you need, of course, you can use a razor to remove um, some mistakes or extra lines. So now make a curly tail and the next point is on that uh, center line here and I'm going to trace my hand you can see how I position my uh, hand so here we go that's his uh, head so the head is kind of bended uh, down because he's watching on his paws here you can measure it here with your hand I'm showing to you how to uh, make it better and you are creating that uh, uh, neckline now we can go forward with his nose you can also take a picture of the cat and see all the details how their forehead is connected to the nose and how curly is that line so now i'm making a little triangle for nose and triangle for ear so all the lines 
having that uh, nice curve yes so we're not straight you have to learn how to make beautiful curves the curves are very important and all the lines we are going to make smooth so because cat is very flexible and you can uh, show it with your lines as well his mouth yeah and eye here we go and eye is also having a triangle shape and it's also kind of you can show that your cat is looking down yes like that and i'm going to show the big eyelashes they have on the head and viscous let's erase all the lines you don't need the extra lines so we can get ready to paint it we are not going to mark his paws because we are creating kind of spot a big spot so it's going to be creative cat not very realistic one so it's a bit abstract now i'm going to use air water and i will put uh, i will spray um, both sides of my paper so your paper will not move from the desk yes so it's perfectly perfectly stuck and now you can proceed this painting please use any colors you want right now I'm going to make that um, body of a cat that and I'm using very soft uh, brush which is going to suck a lot of uh, water with what we need right now and I'm going to have my cat brownish so I'm going to use brown shades of the paint brown yellow ochre and green for his eye yes here we go So little by little I'm going to show strips on my cat and uh, show the shade parts the part the parts which is on the shade So work little by little, don't rush and try to make your best and make it look as a nice fluffy cat. <laughs> 